Good afternoon, amigos from Teotitlan del Valle here in Oaxaca, Mexico. Now today we have something very special to share with you guys for Con Todo, but first it's time to meet the family that we'll be spending the next few days with. We are here with Master Weaver Vicente. Now we actually met Vicente really far from here in Oaxaca. <laughs> we met him in Bayarta. He was there selling some of his beautiful pieces and we knew we had to find a way to get here and learn more about these things that his family's family creates for four generations. So here we are. Yeah. Now Vicente, how did your family start making lana or wool pieces? First, welcome guys. Oh, thank to you. Thank you so much. And uh, welcome to Vicente Studio. And uh, my family have this tradition for a long time ago. I'm fourth generation for this work. And um, I like to, my work, I like to weaver. And um, Yes, I'm learned when I have a seven year old. Wow. Oh, wow. And your kids just told us before <laughs> on camera, she ran by and said, I'm learning to make this. So <laughs> She's very like proud she and excited. Sure. They might be the fifth generation. <laughs> yes. Felipe Vicente Mendoza. Felipe Vicente Mendoza. He's my dad. He's, uh, he's teach me. Oh, okay. And who is this beautiful lady? My mom. Wow. Que guapa. Maria Ruiz. Maria Ruiz. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Thank you so much. How long have they been married? Uh, almost 50 years. Almost, almost 50, 50 years. years. Wow, 50 años. Uh -huh. Wow. So my dad have a uh, 75 years old. Okay. And my mom 60. Oh wow. wow. Okay. Young. Muy joven. Uh -huh. Sí, muy joven. Jovencitos. Sí. <laughs> ¿Y quién es ese? Yeah, my daughter. <laughs> Everyone has a role here. She's Italian. And what is what is her what is her, her job, job in this process? Actually, she's helped to uh, collect the plants, collect okay. the flowers. Okay. Uh -huh. She eats she's the candy. <laughs> she's the one eating candy the candy. Her house. So she's uh, my girl. Excellent. And so what um what does your dad do in the process and what does your mom do in the process if uh, if they have different jobs? Yes, uh, actually my mom and my wife mostly la, like uh, spinning the wool. Okay. Like the woman they have a uh, very soft hands. Mm -hmm. uh, He's like a specialist for the uh, make the yarn okay. spin in the wall. Okay. Uh -huh. And your dad? And my dad uh, carving the wall, and okay. sometimes uh, he's weave. This here, my family speak uh, Zapotec. Okay. And I uh, talk to him to Zapotec. So you speak with uh, with your family. You don't speak Spanish. Like if you're speaking to your parents, you don't speak Spanish. You speak yes. Zapotec. I think that's extremely interesting for a lot of people that have yeah. not traveled to Mexico, or even people that have traveled to Mexico, to know that. There are hundreds of thousands, if not millions yeah. of people that live in Mexico whose native language is not, not Spanish. Spanish. It's uh, a number of different indigenous languages, como Zapotec and Otomi and, and you told me several there's just other. Eight, just in this area. There's eight just in this one area and I think that's extremely interesting. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Okay, <laughs> now then. Okay, what, how old was your dad when he learned? Uh, seven years old. Seven, okay. you were uh -huh. seven. Yes. Seven. Seven. And now you're seven. Ma, she's seven. <laughs> Almost. Uh -huh. Almost. Right? Almost. And have you always have your parents always lived here? Yes. Uh-huh. And so you were born here. I'm born here in Teotitlan. Wow. Wow. Very interesting. Sheep's wool straight off the sheep. It looks like the top of your head. It does. 
res strangely resemble my hair. I know. Hold those jokes, please. We've already all made them here. So, Vicente, after you get this, then what is the next step? Uh, yes, uh, this they need the cleaning to separate the wool, like uh, little by little. Mm. And is that done by hand like you're doing now? Exactly. Uh huh. When they have uh, like all the wool, like separating, and um, I need to go to the river to uh -huh. wash it. Uh -huh. And uh, and it looks like this when you when they finish the wash. It. Oh wow. Uh, okay, so, so this. Clean. Yes. Okay. That's when it's clean. Uh, okay, so this is the middle process of... That's like my hair after it's been washed. Yeah. <laughs> and then what happens after... So we have this big basket of it washed, and then... And the next process is carding the wool. Okay. Which is basically like brushing it and making it really, really soft. Right? Uh -huh. Right, exactly. That form. Okay, what's the difference between this basket and this basket? Uh, that one that is a different color. Oh, uh, okay, uh, it's just a different color. That sheep was uh -huh. a little gray. gray. Oh, okay. And this one's a uh, very like a uh, cream. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and where do the sheep live? Like, where uh, do you get this? Yes, and, uh, outside uh, downtown, downtown. Uh, I, like my dad have a sheep. Uh, okay, so they're, they're your sheep. Yes. Okay, and uh, how often do you get this much wool? They use a scissor and uh -huh. uh, they cut them. Okay. About four months they have... This like, again? That's big. That big. Uh, four months. Four months. Wow. Wow. In... This is a huge process. Yes. Now we are spinning the wool to make the basically each individual strings, if you will. And she makes this look so oh incredibly easy. She just connects the wool on there and, and gets the spinning. We're gonna see if Hillary can do it that easy. All right, Greg, you got that, right? You watched it once and it's your turn. I watched her do it two or three times and uh, I still have no idea. Yeah. Cynthia, I think I need, your, I need some assistance. Yeah, a lot of assistance, <laughs> a lot of help. Okay. Which one do I pick? This. You have to give, she has to give you the she, one that she's she, already she combed. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. They're ready. They're over here working as fast as they can, meanwhile. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, fold it in half? Uh-huh, fold it in half. Okay. And you put it the half. Here? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants this rug? <laughs> Half price. <laughs> want this right? Okay. There we go. See? Uh -huh. And now uh, uh -huh. you connect it there. That's all right, it looks connected. Oh. And now, now you just... Uh, there you go. Okay. okay so you like, look great. You're doing great. You look confident? Exactly. Look at that. There you go. Yeah, I think you got to move back. Move your hand. Move your, pull your hand back. There you go. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. It looks just like hers. All right, what's the verdict? Is it is it as easy as she makes it and as not effortless? At not at all, I don't know how she does this. <laughs> it makes it just look so simple. And now 
is from my favorite part, <laughs> dyeing the wool. So we asked Jacinthe, and can you dye all of these? You can dye all of them. Yes, uh -huh. these are the bicycle the tones. Uh -huh. When you dye the white one, mm -hmm. uh, the, it's like the lighter color. When you dye this, this color, it's a little bit darker. Okay. This one, more darker. Okay, so you can use, so for example, dye. if you're using the same plant, the same it would look different on each, each on each one, different one. Exactly. Hues or exactly, and then we have some examples over here. The white color. Mm -hmm. Oh, turn in, into this. One. Uh -huh. Okay, and what plant, what did you use to make this, this one? This one, these are cochineal. Cochineal, ah, okay, cochineal. uh huh. Like the bug. From, um, yes. From bug. Cactus. Uh huh. Cactus bug. Yes. Cactus bug. We went to a museum. It's a museum about uh -huh. that. Uh huh, yes. Yeah. They use that. This one is the, the gray color. Oh, okay, yes. so same. This is cochineal, but with the gray. Exactly. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, interesting. Wow. And then what about like this this yellow? The same thing with uh, when the yellow ones. Uh huh. Uh huh. This one is the the white. The white one. Uh huh. And this one the gray. Uh huh. And this one the gray too. And then what uh, product did you use to? Uh, this one is a uh, pericone. Very it's cool. a plant. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a plant collecting uh, on the mountains. Now, we told you guys at the beginning of the video we had something special to share with you. And behind me, Vicente is holding up our newest product for Contodo. Now, this goes a long way back. From the moment we started Contodo, which was not too long ago, we knew we had to include wool. It's one of the <laughs> deepest traditions here in Mexico, mm. and here we are, not a few weeks later. Yes. So, we were just talking about how all of these colors are made. So Vincent, they tell us what these are made of again. Yes, this one, uh, I'm using indigo, indigo. to dye this color, uh -huh. turquoise. Uh -huh. And this was, was this the white? The wool? white wool. Okay. The bright white. And this one is the great wool. Yeah. The oh, great gracias. wool. The great, the great oh, wool. Oh, the gray uh -huh. wool with indigo as with well. Okay. And this one is the white wool. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm using Mericot's flower. Okay, which is the... Which is the flower for Dia de Muertos. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> I think. And this one, Cactus Beetle. Uh -huh. The Cochineal. Okay. Uh -huh. Not to be confused with Cochinite Pibil. <laughs> Not the same. Not the same. <laughs> uh, and I think it's extremely interesting that, you know, part of Contolo, we're trying to share uh, parts of Mexico yeah. with the world uh, and you know stuff we can't share on yep. camera and in each piece we have the cochineal, we have the marigold flower, we have indigo so we have literal parts of Mexico yeah. in each piece of art and I think that's extremely yeah and uh, these designs mostly is a Zapotec design okay that design the meaning I have got oh wow and this one these are represent the cardinal symbol, like okay. north. Oh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. And uh, and uh, the other design, uh, these design, these are represent equilibrium. Uh, okay. All the designs, these are hieroglyphics of the Zapotec people. So these are symbols that have been here in Mexico for thousands of years. Exactly for the Zapotec peoples, uh, that designs they hold them on uh, archaeological site, like oh. here in Teotitlan uh -huh. and uh, Mitla. Wow. Now Vicente has been working tirelessly. You saw his kiddos being put to <laughs> make 200 of these. We're gonna sell them in sets of four, so there's only 50 sets available. How long, how many hours did it take? To make, to make 200. To make 200. He just uh, finished last night. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, uh, he's uh, almost a month. Almost, almost a month. month. He's the weep. Wow. And they are beautiful. And like Greg said, they literally have pieces and parts of Mexico, which makes them so, very uh -huh. special. And there's one last, uh, one last final touch, correct, Vicente, just to cut this and and tie it, so yes. where each coaster is kind of individual, correct? Yep. Exactly. Okay. They so put here in the middle and make the nuts on the bottom. Okay. So we'll have to get a shot, some views of that, yep. so we see the final product. Kenya is gonna give it a shot. 
Vicente is tying the, the loose ends, as well as la abuelita y el abuelito. <laughs> wow. Y Hillary. It's my first day of work. Has been put to work. <laughs> She's cutting yep. the cutting them just to make them a little uh, shorter. And here are a few of the final productos. They look so good. They look so good. Like so good. good.